Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel Lieber and I'll be doing the trend analysis of uh, FBI crime, crime data from years 1994 through 2013. This is for class data 620, section 2175, summer 2017, taught by Professor Majed El Gondor at University of Maryland, University College. So just a quick summary about the data uh, I retrieved from FBI from FBI's website FBI.gov, and it covers the years 1994 through 2013, as I mentioned before. Then it has different variables starting with <clears throat> property crime and violent crime. Within property crime, we have burglary, larceny theft, motor vehicle motor vehicle theft, which is also known as auto theft. Then in violent crime, we have murder, rape, robbery, and aggravated assault. On to my first graphic. Um, it shows you the trend of, of both property crime rate and violent crime rate, as you can see. And <clears throat> it's decreasing over time from 1994 to 2013. And also I did on a forecast to show for the next seven years, so until 2020. And uh, we can see comparing the two data points, the starting data point, property crime rate was at 4,660. And for projected crime rate in 2020 is 2,390, which is a significant decrease. We can see that same case applies to the violent crime rate, starting point of 713.6, and projected crime rate 2020 is 309.2, which is almost half of the starting crime, uh, violent crime rate. And also listed out the averages and also use a reference span to show you anything above 600 would be a high violent, high violent crime rate, between 400 and 600 medium violent crime rate, and between 200 and 400 low violent. Second graphic shows you the percent difference in violent and property crime rate with uh, also included the percentage in the graphic so you can easily pinpoint. So we'll take a look at the last two years on the data set, 2012 and 2013. And we can see there's a significant decrease point from 0 0.018 to negative 5.13% in violent crime rate. As well as for property crime rate, there's a there's a decrease as well from negative 1.287 to negative 4.787, and we can also see for 1999 had to had the highest decrease from the previous year in 1998 in both property and violent crime rate. I also did the dependencies slash relationship between the different crime rates. And this was just to show that their crimes, uh, different offenses related to each other, or can one substitute their other? And and I found out there's no real relationship between any of the crimes. But one thing I notice is as one increases, so does the other. So we can take a look, for example, at the aggravated assault versus uh, robbery. We can see as a Aggravated assault increases, so does the robbery crime uh, robbery crime increase. So and this applies to all the crimes in this data set, but that doesn't mean they can substitute each other. Last but not least, I did the percent per crime uh, category. So as I mentioned before, uh, robbery is part of the violent crime, and vehicle theft is part of the property crime. So I wanted to see what percentage does uh, robbery account for violent crime and what percentage does auto theft account for property crime over the years and I also did a focus with that as well and I found out for robbery it seems to stay as a con constant for the next seven years which is uh, surprising and that's one of the focus I don't seem to agree with on the other hand we see that Vehicle theft seems to decrease over time, um, all the way to 4.873% in 2020. Then my references, 
retrieve the data from uh, fbi.gov and here's a direct link to the data. Thank you. If you have any questions, please post them below.